It's dinner time, on a wet and rainy night in Singapore. It's also harvesting night for a French salad farmer in Singapore. So I'm Stéphane, I work for B Plus H Architect, that is under the group of Surban and Jurong. I've been in Singapore for 12 years now, and what you see behind is a, is a micro farm, a little bit of an experiment of mine, and also a cabinet of curiosity for vegetables. So I'm growing a lot of uh, different crops here, and that's part of the, the setup that I have to create variety, but I, I grow cool crops that usually don't grow in Singapore. As a principal uh, at Bipress Age Architect, I work a lot on hospitality projects. Farm to table is always in the back of my mind to grow uh, seasonal vegetables and use them in the F&B, but also try to make them part of the experience of the guest. There's a lot of residual spaces in the city that could be used, so looking at food supply not as a unique source, but as many sources. It's like computing, clouds, vegetable providers. This container grows 250 lettuce per month. I could double or triple if I wanted. That's a lot of lettuce for a lot of families. Actually, in such a small space, if you design it properly, that could be a, a, a simple answer for access to good food. We took things for granted, like chicken in Malaysia or palm oil in Indonesia. All of a sudden, uh, from one day to another, we realize that we can hardly have access to them. All plants are chosen for their taste, but also for playful colors, shapes and volumes when they mature. In the French tradition of growing vegetables at home, as food as well as ornaments. As a busy architect, Stéphane uses design and automation to care for them. The first thing I did is to open uh, on one side, not just to create a display, but also to allow natural light. So the way I grow vegetables is a mix between grow light and uh, natural light. This is in order to minimize uh, electricity consumption and going in towards like, some kind of passive design uh, approach for, for growing. I have fans that will start ventilating and circulating air from our outside. I'm checking temperature inside uh, regularly, so it will switch on and off a certain, uh, certain zone for the lighting and try to maintain a constant temperature of uh, 20 to 21 uh, degrees inside. I'm definitely using air conditioning to be able to grow this. Uh, I gather data from, uh, from these this first experiments. That's really important to, uh, to understand this before uh, moving to the next, next step, which is probably solar panels, uh, harvest uh, rainwater. Stefan means to use his farming experiment in ensuring food resiliency and food quality. Nobu make, make reference to, uh, to this word Nobu, that is trust. And one of the purpose of, the, of this container is, uh, is to grow quality vegetables and, uh, and provide trust in what you eat. So Nobu also makes reference to Nouvelle Boite in French, and it, it means new box. So it's, it's a kind of new box that you would trust. It also reminds me of France because uh, I buy the seeds from France. Uh, they are all organic seeds from uh, uh, very good suppliers. And I also get seeds from my mom, uh, from the local market and from the local farmers. So I think for me it's, uh, it's quite rewarding to be able to uh, bring a little piece of the Bordeaux uh, into a small box in Singapore. <laughs>